I love Victory Church because the way they've got here sets people free. Hi, I love coming to Victory Church because it equips us as the body of Christ to go out and preach the good news to everyone that we come into contact in our daily lives. Victory Church is a real friendly place and it's really nice to come and you feel at home. We all just... We're just a big family, really. Why I like coming to Victory Church? Because it's very warm, it's friendly, and they teach grace, which is about more about freedom. And it's free, it's fun, uh, it's funky. It's, uh, oh, am I supposed to be? <laughs> it's funky, it's, um, it's just great. I love it. It's a healing church, and we have good teachers, uh, friendly. We have good television crews as well. <laughs> Got to get that in for you, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, it's a very friendly church. I love Victory Church because it's shown me God in a true light. It's shown me that there's freedom, there's deliverance, and God is real. It's not religion, it's the love of God, and it's changed my life dramatically. Amen. <laughs> and this lady... Hello. This lady. Yes, come on. Um, I love Victory Church because we see people's lives changed and it is a real place with real answers for people with real issues and it just helps you to live victoriously in every single area of your life. Nigel, it's been a real pleasure to listen to your amazing testimony here at the Victory Church in Grimsby. Yeah. You know, how have you found it here? You know what it is, being in Grimsby or being in London, being in Doncaster or wherever, when you come in um, uh, um, to speak God's word, you don't care where you are. You don't care if it's one person, two person, a hundred person, a thousand pe people. It's just being able to speak God's word. And, and to me, it's been a blessing. Being able to speak to people and just talk to them about Jesus. To me, uh, uh, um, that's what I love. That's my passion. I think what's come across from a lot of people I've spoken to has said it's so lovely to see someone who's a high profile figure actually come across as a normal person. Do you understand what they're saying? <laughs> I'm so normal because there's no difference between me and you. Just that you're female and I'm male, that's about <laughs> it. But, and, uh, but I'm a real person because when it, when it really boils down to and it comes down to it that we're all beautifully made, we're the same regardless of what we've got in life because at the end of the day we're both going to two places either to heaven or hell it ain't no distinction no that because i'm i'm a world champion i'm going to go any place no any place different to where you're going to go and we know where we're going to go and that's to meet jesus you've obviously had a lot of fights in your life but hearing your testimony i couldn't help but hear the lord say to me on my heart that probably coming to the Lord was actually one of your biggest fights. You had a lot of hurdles to get over, didn't you? Do you know what? It wasn't even about the, the biggest fight, it was the best fight. <laughs> oh, it, wasn't, it wasn't the biggest fight, it was the best fight of my life. I feel like my life never started till I was 44, and that's when I met Jesus. And everything else is just like really a blur, because it actually says in Mark 8, 36, it says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? Not once, mm -hmm. but twice and forfeit your soul, your mind, your willing emotion. So I had everything, but I was still empty. So you, you, you take away all the materialistic things and how blessed do I feel now to have Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I, you know, there's no comparison, nothing. Nothing can be more, uh, uh, can make me more happy than having Jesus as the Lord of my life. And for me, giving me the opportunity to spread the gospel, me that was, Thick as two short planks of wood in remedial classes at school, and yet he's given me his word. But don't you think that's what's amazing about God, though? Because he works in people in so oh, many different ways, oh. but I don't think sometimes people actually understand their true talents and gifts and what God gives them. I, I, I think you know what, don't you're gonna start getting me all excited again. Now I'm gonna start <laughs> preaching to you in a minute, <laughs> but no, the, the, the passion that you know that to show that it gives us a choice of where we're going to go in Deuteronomy 30, 19. It gives us a choice over between life, death, the blessings and the curse. But it says, choose life. In other words, yeah. choose me. So if you choose me, you're going to have a pathway right. to heaven and spend eternity in heaven. Or you have a pathway to hell with a place of torment and it's eternity. It, it doesn't end. But it says, choose me. How blessed can we be? And, you know, 
as a final word, I mean, I'm doing a series about, you know, overcoming hurdles in the Christian life and in everyday life. And what piece of encouragement can you give people who are out there now hurting and are going to have to need to jump those hurdles? Well, it actually says in Matthew 11, 28, it says, come to me all you are weary and heavy laden. He says, I will give you rest. What does that all mean? He says, look, come and bring your addiction of sex, drugs, alcohol, whatever it is. He says, come and bring it at the foot of the class, cross and I will set you free from them because the scripture actually said when the sun sets you free you are free indeed and he set me free from all my addictions I've never I never knew life existed like this and the peace that I have is the peace that I have by knowing Jesus and people can have that peace if they so want it isn't that the truth? and you know what? it's free you ain't got to go no counsel or nothing it's free it don't cost you nothing well, I say it don't cost you nothing but he'll get rid of all your friends that want to take you away from your wife, Amen. take you away from, from your dream. It, it, he'll, he'll, he'll cut them people out of your life. But when you start reading these words, because God's word, the Bible, is the final reality of life. Nigel Ben, thank you so much. And God thank bless you. you. Oh, thank you for sharing your testimony. Amen. Because I am sure Amen. it is going to bless people Amen. for many years to come. Thank you very much. God bless. God bless. People should come to Victory Church because, you know, we're vibrant, we're relevant, we care about people, we've got a real passion for, you know, I think people are really hungry for some good news. And, you know, Victory Centre is about the good news, um, that God has got a great plan for them, God has got a fantastic future for them, and that's why you should come to Victory Church.